From the Mundarara mine in Tanzania, a um, bit of matrix material, uh, uh, the ruby zoazite. So the red crystals you see here on a cross section would be ruby corundum crystals. The, the green material would be some fuchsite matrix, maybe with some uh, zoazite associated. Polished finish, this guy is partially polished, so the back section would be raw. When I'd see this in nature, I wouldn't think of, of it that much, but when we look at the cross, uh, once it's been uh, polished and, and smoothed out, have a look at that, this lies within. Um, let me take you through the, the polishing finish, very, very nice finish. All the edges has be, have been nicely smoothed down. So various aspects of display on this one. I quite enjoy this angle, so I'd have it going around like this. Size-wise, maybe just over half a palm size, substantial size too. For those out there who want to cab, there is a section thick enough, but, but note that corundum is extremely hard. I think it's a number nine, uh, just under diamond on the Mohs scale. So pretty, pretty hard uh, uh, to, to, to work with. All the way from Tanzania, from the Mundarara mine in Tanzania, where the guys are mining. I'm not actually quite sure what they're mining for. Maybe gemstone mining. I know there's tanzanite and the likes. Also, well, zoazite. Tanzanite is one of the zoazite uh, family members. Actually, in some old literature, there's always a, a picture of... Uh, a tanzanite, but this was the one which hadn't been heat treated, which always fascinated me, uh, fascinated me from a from a young age. The the absolutely natural untreated one.